We are here with a great tip for your uh, material creation in Revit and Enscape uh, project, and that is creation of frosted glass. What is a uh, frosted glass? As you see in the display and in the screen, these uh, glasses here that I've uh, assigned them to my curtain panels are uh, frosted glass, and the degree of the frosted uh, is very high, and I've put it uh, in the final uh, frosted degree, so it's very frosted as you can see we can see the exact image behind them and uh, it just uh, transmit the transfer and transmit transmit the light and also you can see a little bit of image and sometimes it is a little it, it is a it is a cool uh, material to use it in interior parts and it's going to uh, give you a great effect but how we can create these things in uh, our rabbit project I'm not going to uh, make it too complicated to do that. For example, I have uh, these curtain panels. We can create this material for every, any uh, element you have, for example, for your extrusion and for anything you have in your project. So it's not any, uh, there is no limitation for that. Okay, for example, I have uh, this curtain panel here and I'm going to assign the frosted glass to these panels. To do that, let me select this panels if you can select these panels you need to uh, let me make the rabbit uh, window bigger you need to turn on the select pin elements to be able to do that because the panels are pinned by default okay that's great let's go to the edit type and from here I've created the frosted glass uh, to this one and how to create it let's create the, let's create this material by scratch to do that let's create a default material and let's name it thought frosted glass find it easily and let's uh, turn on the user and their opinions to do that it's really uh, it's hard and maybe it is impossible to do that with default materials you need to do use uh, ready to use assets from the autodesk library to do that click on in here Click on here and from here search frosted keyword and in glass category you will have two I uh, want clear frosted and clear light frosted uh, we want to use a uh, fully frosted but if you want to use a little bit lighter frosted material you can use this one let's uh, change this asset to here and let's duplicate this asset to prevent from any duplication and in here uh, for having, uh, let's uh, click on OK and let's see the result and we will come back and we will change the things here. Because this uh, panel is uh, created uh, by two parts, let me assign this material to this part too to see the difference. Okay, let me uh, make them side by side to see the results very fast. As you can see, this material is not really frosted because the degree of frosting is really uh, done in this material. Let's go to the uh, manage tab. In here, let's go to the material part and material screen. And in here, you have some uh, settings that will affect on your material. If you want to make it more frosted, you need to change this parameter, uh, which is transmission. Uh, transmissive uh, roughness you need to make it uh, uh, you need to uh, bring it to the final uh, number and then click on apply and you can see the uh, main result and main effect here and you can make it a little bit less or a little bit more it is about uh, transmitting the uh, light and also transmitting the image but if you want to change the uh, effect of uh, reflections on it, for example, you can see the reflections here, you can change the roughness. It's not, it's not that a big effect, but it will affect on some uh, part of the reflections when it's in the lower parts. Let me go to the, go a little bit nearer. You will see it in reflection parts. It's a little bit hard to see it here, but if it's, can see it in here when your roughness is high it will be more granular or something like that as you can see okay 
that's it and also in uh, the last uh, para uh, the last two parameters that we can change here is the first one is the color for example if you want to uh, if you want a red uh, frosted glass you need to put it on red click on ok and click on apply as you can see we have a red frosted glass here or maybe some uh, cyan uh, glasses let's apply it as you can see we have this great effects here very easy and also a little bit change in reflex and highlights is here that you can do is about reflect color but the best uh, color that you can um, achieve the uh, more natural reflect is uh, gray or a little bit uh, uh, dark gray don't put it on any other color but if you want uh, if you want to do that you can do that so i hope this video was helpful for you if it was don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe us for more tutorials okay uh, and also in the uh, again you can have some uh, highlights control in here but there are some obvious things and i'm not going to uh, explain all of them and you can get the results with this uh, with this uh, settings here if you want to get access to our premium files and premium tutorials, you can go to our Patreon page. Uh, if you want to support us, you can go there too. I will see you on the next session.